and we back ladies and gentlemen today's video is about to be really really good for me or really really bad either way it's gonna be a banger for you because we got this relationship here that no matter if i'm successful or i fail a challenge you enjoy it it's a weird relationship but i wouldn't i wouldn't change it for the world now y'all know we got this this saying on the channel you get assets and you flip them meaning that we can end up doing 10 12 trades in the video but ultimately it gets us that magnificent championship in today's video i don't get to decide how many total trades i do in a season i'm letting the wheel do it the wheel can say hey kenny you can only make one trade this year and i gotta try my best to make the perfect trade to win a championship it's also one of those videos that the video will not end until i finally get that championship so year number one the wheel can be like just one year number two can be like hey kenny do 10 trades whenever we win a championship the video ends but i can only do trades according to the wheel be sure to leave a like on the video man if you forget to leave a like on the video that relationship i was telling you about that i wouldn't trade in for the world yeah i might i might end that relationship so leave a like on the video man it helps the channel grow and we're trying to get to the point where we get a million subscribers we're ways away but i know with y'all help we can get it done so if you're new around here subscribe leave a like and let's try to figure out how many trades we do in the first season so here's our wheel here i got it up from one to ten I know there are some videos where we do way, way more than 10 trades, but we're just going to say limited to 1 through 10 in today's video. And if I'm 7 years down the line and this wheel ain't working, then we'll maybe up it to like 15. First spin. Can you imagine if we're successful based on the first spin? First spin. Today's video is starting off with just 5 trades. So that could be, hey, getting a whole new start at five. That can mean a couple new starters, a couple players on the bench. I don't really know. But we starting off with just five trades in the first year of this video. All right. So we are finally here to randomly select our team again. I'm going to remind you during this time to leave a like on the video. It helps a lot. So I'm closing my eyes and I'm stopping at three and two and one. We're running with the Pelicans in today's video, which is, which is weird because I was, I was definitely rocking a Pelican shirt yesterday. What number pick will we have? We have a top 10 pick. Oh, we have the eighth pick in the draft. Ladies and gentlemen, we might get this challenge done in the first year. We're going to have a star. We're going to have a superstar. Not just a star. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pascal is a star. Jimmy Butler is a star. But we're about to get a superstar. Let's see who it was. I saw Steph Curry. I saw Damian Lillard. And we end up with Steph. We have Tobias. We have Victor Lodipo. Okay, while well, I'm talking about him, let's make him their best positions. Okay. Victor Lodipo, Serge Ibaka. Short King, Isaiah Thomas, Short King standing up. You know, you know what I gotta, you know I gotta say it. Julia Okafor, Chicago's very own. You're getting traded. Ursa Elias over the King of the Charge. Kevin Porter Jr. Don't know if you have a nickname just yet. In time, in time, in time, you'll get a nickname for this channel. Right now, you're just KPJ. Is that cool? You know, he'll get a nickname eventually. But right now, he ain't got one. I okay. Ivan Ram, Rob, Rob, Ivan Rob does not have a nickname. Lonnie Walker the fourth. Ooh, do I have a nickname for Lonnie Walker? Mm, um, um, uh, nope, I don't. Okay, I don't have nicknames for any of these these bottom guys. Just keep it a buck. But Lonnie Walker, you know, I like. Whoa, if you make Nas read a small forge, his overall stays the same. It's actually funny. Um, John Conchar, shout out to the homie. I'm saying that now. We have exchanged DM, so it has he has to be a homie, correct? Chicago's own, Illinois own. I don't know if I could say Chicago. Um, this is our squad, and Steph Curry is at the helm. And Steph Curry at the helm of it, we're automatically a contender. Automatically, especially in this year's 2K, the man be averaging like 40 points per game. I'm not even exaggerating. So we just have to put the perfect team around Steph Curry to win a championship. You know what? With five trades, we might legitimately be able to do it with just five. You know what I'm saying? I thought this was going to be a guaranteed multiple year video. Probably won't have to be. Probably won't have to be. Anthony Towns on a rebuilding team. Very, very interesting. Jason Tatum is on a rebuilding team and not untouchable. Hello, Thunder. Let's have a conversation. I'm talking to the Thunder first. And you know what? I might move Jason Tatum over to small four when it's all said and done. If I could pull off this trade, he's only making $9 million a year. So we'd have to throw them Jaleel Okafor. Mm, that's a trade. They Oh, they have so much cap space. So we can actually give them Tobias Harris. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. Okay. So we can give them Tobias Harris. We can give them Lonnie Walker, who will have some good value. He's a valuable asset. I thought they said he was untouchable. I was like, wait, you didn't tell me he was untouchable. Only one star value on our picks, though, because we have Steph Curry. I mean, Steph, again, Steph Curry instantly makes you a contender. We'll give you Nas Reed as well. He's only one and a half star trade value. Give us back Tremont Waters, another short kid. And I think I'm honestly willing to give up K 
Kevin Kevin Porter Jr.'s three star value. Let's let us keep Nas Reed. Deal. Kevin Porter Jr., thank you, baby. You're a valuable asset. Boom. Jason Tatum at small four is a 90 overall. And now we got a two-headed monster. Trade number one is done. Trade number two. I need a better center. And then after that, after we get a better center, yo, these last couple trades, easy. Walk in the park. Who is our better center? Wow. The Bulls have Bam. Can you imagine? Adding him to the list. On a rebuilding team, and he's not untouchable, Bam Adebayo is added to the list. So we're not going to waste no time. I'm trying to go after Bam Adebayo. They have okay amount of cap space. I'm willing to throw in Serge Ibaka. Oh, wait. They don't have... No, I'm sorry. They don't have cap space. Serge Ibaka's 23 is a lot. They got to make up 14, but I don't know if they have that. They have to make up 14. You give us back Goran Dragic, right? And then we give you a young player like Nas Reed. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is not going to be a trade that's going to happen. This is not going to be a trade that's going to happen. Three firsts. Okay. Three firsts. Yes. Again, we can only make five trades. So I went all in on our big three of Steph Curry, Jason Tatum, and Bam Adebayo. Now, with Victor Lipo as shooting guard, I'm cool with that. He's some. He's that defense alone side Steph Curry. I'm cool with that. Next, we have to figure out our power forward and then, like, the bench. Right now, I just pulled off a trade and got Goran Dragic. That is a W, if you ask me. Isaiah Thomas is probably going to have to get traded. I'm going to be honest with you. Isaiah Thomas at $7 million is probably going to have to get traded. Along with, for some reason, Ivan Rabb is making $7 million. I don't know what in the world 2K thought because he has never been that valuable in real life. So I don't know where that's coming from. So let's try to figure it out. I mean, I can make this trade for Mitchell Robinson. Boom, move Bam Adebayo to the four. Boom, bada, boom, bada, bam, championship winning team. That is not out of the realm of possibility. But that just feels like something I've done a thousand times, y'all. It just feels like something I've done a thousand times. So because of that, I'm doing something different. I'm sending Isaiah Thomas back to the place to start it. And I'm getting back Laurie Marketer. You know what I'm saying? Well, Bam out of bio. We need some st a stretch forward that we can trust. And boom, Laurie Marketing is our guy. Is our guy. So at this point, let's see. Let's see how many trades. I think that's the fourth. That is only the third trade. Oh, we're good. We're good. Let's figure out this bench because we need that. Uh, we don't need Ja, Leo Okafor, and Ursan Ilyasova. So let I like having Justin Holiday as a rotational piece. We have a point guard. Let's go try to get a backup guard, shooting guard, or a backup center with either. I, I just honestly, bro, Jaleel Okafor is just one of those players that I just feel like he does not make your team better, even in 2K. So I could pull off a trade get Robert Covington, but I want to keep one of these guys, and, and Ursa might be the guy I want to keep. So I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. We're losing overall here, but I think, do I have to give you a pick? Okay, they really want the pick. I think this is a trade that helps us out a lot. Um, we bring in Gary Trent to be that backup shooting guard. We need a backup shooting guard minute, so we have that. So our backup positions will be Goran Dragic and Gary Trent. I like that. Backup small four will be Justin Holiday. We have Ursa Ilyasova, and now we just need to find that center, and that is the last trade, right? That, is, that will be trade number five. Simple. Easy. Like, so easy that I feel like this wasn't even a challenge. I mean, I'm not giving myself the championship just yet because, I mean, we still have to actually win the championship. So I'm not giving it to us just yet. There's Pau. Love me some Pau Gasol, man. Wow, love me some Pau Gasol. Former bull. You know what I'm saying? And, and just all around great guy. Let's try to get Pau another championship. Sure, he's gonna. He's 40 years old. And he's going to be a rotational piece for us at 75 overall. Pau. Welcome, bro. Okay, so this is our team. I like it. Who's our coach at this moment? Do they still have Alvin? Hello, staff? They still have Alvin. And his, his defense is a D-. I don't really like that. I think space and pace would be perfect with a guy like Steph Curry. So, you know, you know, make it a 10-man rotation again. Steph Curry, Victor Lipo, Jason Tatum, Larry Market, and Bam Adebayo. Off the bench, we're going to have Goran Dragic, Gary Tritt, Ursa Ilyasova, Justin Holiday, and Pau Gasol. All right. And we need to sign a player, and I know exactly what player we're going to have to go after. Where are you at? Wait. Way, where is my boy Joe Kim? Oh, there he is. I looked over him. Okay, Joe Kim Noah, welcome to the team. All right, let's simulate the first couple weeks of the season, see how it goes, man. We may just, this might legitimately be one of the easy. Okay, we, did, we didn't start off great. And I can't do any more trades. So, like, if we're at the all star break trade deadline and my team is not looking great, it is what it is. I can't do any more trades. It would have to wait till next season. And, oh, we are not looking amazing. And you're probably yelling at me, Kenyans, because we traded for Larry Marketing. And not Mitchell Robinson and move Bam to the four. And you know what? You might be right. You might be right. 
but they, I don't I don't want to just make every rebuild uniform. Sure, it probably was the best option, but I feel like I've had these players on the same team. Oh my god, Zach Levine. Uh Seth Curry? Whoa. Okay. Um okay. Uh hello. Oh, that's why. Uh Jason Tatum's averaging 22. But we have a lot of options, you know what I'm saying? We have Oh my god, Larry Market. Come on, bro. I cannot wait till Larry Market to have this breakout season in real life. His overall goes up and 2K can stop disrespecting my boy. Right, let's do that for the rest of the season. Steph Curry should be averaging 40. Like, I mean, okay, I'm exaggerating. But Steph Curry should definitely be averaging more than 18, 19 points per game. And look at that. We're starting to win a little bit more now that Steph Curry is our number one option. I know what I'll be doing sometime. Some not all the time, but sometimes for sure. And it looks like we're going to go into the playoffs with 50 plus wins, which is a W. And look at the win streak right before the playoffs. Kyrie averaged 38, 6, and 5 on 50, 40, 90 splits. Cool down, young man. And he plays for the Lakers, which is funny. Dennis Schroeder wins six man of the year. There's no rookie of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Six man of the year went to Dennis Schroeder. Defense player of the year went to Giannis. Brandon Clark went to, got most approved. And then we won 57 games. And that was enough for us to win coach of the year. Um, our offense is a 99, defense a 93. You feel me? That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, will we have anybody from the New Orleans Pelicans make the All-NBA team? No. All right. Defensive team? No. Rookie team? Wait, 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 oh yeah, no rookies. So we did have the best record in the West and the best record in the entire league at 57 and 25. Beautiful, um, pretty evenly on on at home and away. Uh, let's see if Steph Curry numbers went up after I made him the number one option. They, they did, but not significantly. I mean, he was 50, 40, 90, which is beautiful. The man shot 44, 45% from three. Do you realize how insane that is of a guy of his value to do that? And that's not even just 2K. Like, he actually did that in real life before. Unanimous, bro. Unanimous MVP. All right, here we go. Oh, Powell. Powell's on fire. He averaged three points per game, four rebounds. Come on, Powell. Let's go. Part 36 numbers look good. Let's do this for Powell Gasol. Going against the Portland Trailblazers, who have Malcolm Brogdon, Colin Sexton, Gordon Hayward, Yanis, and Mason Plumley. We're going against Giannis in the first round. I'm I'm not gonna allow this series to do what you think it's gonna do. So I'm gonna go talk to my team about matching up against the Trail what at Trailblazers. And Giannis, I'm sorry, bro. We're putting Bam on you. Laurie, you're gonna have to guard whoever their center was. I forgot that fast. Bam is on on Giannis. Game number one. Yes. Okay. I mean JT, Steph Curry, Bam. And Goran Dragic off the bench, put up 24. Come on, man. We're talking about a six-man-of-the-year candidate. Game number two. Okay, they come back. And it wasn't even Giannis, though. We just didn't come to play, only putting up 101 points in the game, which is crazy to say because I remember back in the day, and we're not even talking that far away. Um, 101 points in the game was a good amount of a good amount of points. But nowadays, 101 points, you're like, man, they did not score at all this year or this game. Steph Curry put up a 32-9-17, and while Jason Tatum put up 37-4-5. Victor Oliva put up 27 and Hey, that's a big game. That's a big game. Let's keep that momentum. Next game, we lose. Giannis, Malcolm Brogdon. We have no answer for both, I guess. Uh. Okay. You know, it's just just the way my videos work around here. Put together the best team in the league. Lose in the first round. It's just the way we do things around here. And Giannis did nothing in a game seven. Oh, I, I'm sorry, a game six to close it out. Malcolm Brogdon and Colin Sexton gave us that work in, in this elimination game. And we become one of the... I mean, they got to the conference finals, bro. They got all the way to the conference finals. Oh, that's so... Look at that real-life championship right here. That's, that's kind of weird. I mean, obviously, way different rosters. Bro, no way we just got eliminated by the eighth seed. No way. So you're probably looking at me like, Kenny, how does free agency work? Basically, um, I can bring back the same players, uh, but I can't go out and, like, sign Giannis. I can bring back pretty much everybody that was already on the team, if possible, and then the rest will be roster fillers. So let me do that real quick, if possible. I mean, we got a lot of players. I did not realize how many players we had on the qualifying offer situation. Um, Victor Lipo is unrestricted. For 21 mil? Listen. Hey. Hey. For 21 mil? I mean, it's got 40 badges, though. I mean, ugh. 
what type of season did he have for us? I don't know if I could give you 21 mil uh, VO. I'm sorry. What type of Where's his numbers? Where's his numbers? He averaged 13. Probably put up good defense because that's what he does. 13. I'm not paying. I'm not paying that much money for 13. I'm sorry. Jason Tatum's prepared to. Oh, oh, oh these guys. Oh, you think you're gonna? <laughs> no, we match it all. Hello. You thought you were gonna get away from me? It's not. It's not that easy. Laurie Marketing also has an offer. All right, so we were not able to retain uh, many, many people. Our, our, whew, let's hope that this wheel gives us something that's good that we can make trades with because right now we are going to be on the struggle bus. Like, look at our team. Oh my God, look at our team. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get to the wheel because this is a monumental moment. Let's get to the wheel. Moment of truth. We have to do a total of six. Okay. I mean, it's it's better than, than the five we had last round. Six trades to try to turn the team with a bunch of 70s into a championship team. I mean, shoot. Where's my GM hat? Because I'm going to need it. I mean, look at the roster, bro. We're going to have to trade one of our top guys. That is that is a given. Like, Larry Market is going to have to get traded. We have to do six trades. There's Zach Levine. We're going to have to do six trades, right? six trades let's, let's figure out how we do this six trades we this might be trade number one bring in vucevic right get assets and flip them i'm gonna make vucevic a, a power forward and throw him in a finder with the first round pick talk about getting assets and flipping them man pascal siakam they're the same overall one of them averaged 17 and, and 12 last season one of them averaged 26 and 8 i'm gonna take the 26 and 8 so right now we have a starting five that looks like this is pretty good we got four all-star caliber players gary trent is in the starting lineup which is all right i guess um we have to figure out the rotation more than anything so we only get six trades and we've done two of them already the rest of these trades in my eyes should be about trying to get this bench better because our our best player off our bench is 74 overall quinn cook Un acceptable i'm gonna trade for keldon johnson he's gonna be a significant upgrade to that six man role part of me thinks that we're gonna have to bite the bullet a little bit on one of these guys man we're gonna have to bite the bullet a little bit because no matter what i do to try to trade to make our, our rotation better it just won't end up being great because it's a lot of one for one trades i think i'm gonna have to trade one of our top guys i'm gonna have to probably trade one of our top guys which is unfortunate because i like the top guys but we need a more complete roster we need a more complete roster. So if I'm going to trade Bam right now, it would have to be. It would have to be for like a, I don't even, I don't even know. I need a two for one deal that makes sense for us. And none of these trades make sense. So Jason Tatum, I'll try as well. Chris Stapps, Nod, Shea, and Montrez, no. Like, uh, this is, I mean, Ben Simmons and I make him a, well then, I mean, this is really a one for one because I'm not getting anything extra. I mean, is Steph Curry going to get traded from my team? I make him a small forward. Rudy Gobert and Vucevic. Clay and TJ Warren. Those are the only trades we get. Does Steph Curry get traded, bro? Is that the world we're living in? That I'm going to have to trade Steph Curry? Jimmy Butler, Spencer Dinwiddie. Clay, I, mean, I mean, none of the trades are good. None of the trades are even close to good. So Steph Curry's safe. Steph Curry is safe. I mean, nobody is uh is safe to the point where I won't even test it. Did I try Jason Tatum yet? Did I did I throw Jason Tatum in here? Oh, I almost just randomly uh did a trade. Ah, uh, that's I may have to trade Pascal. Like I just got him. I literally just got him. But I may have to trade him. Small trade, but hopefully it helps us out. We had no picks, so I'm trading for a pick. That would make trade number four. Three. That's trade number three. It's trade number three. I'm oh, no, I'm sorry. That's trade number four. So we only have two trades left. We only have two trades left. We have an extra first round pick. I'm throwing with Pascal Siakam. And honestly, this is what our team looks like at the moment. I, let me make it back to a 10 man. Steph, Gary Tramp, Jason Tatum, Pascal, Bam. Starting five is amazing. Then we get to this bench, and man, it's reminiscent of some of those Miami Heat teams with LeBron, Wade, and Bosch. We're like, we really got to rely on Garrett Temple getting us minutes. We really got, you know, something like that. So, again, as much as I do enjoy Pascal, and I made a trade for him because I'm, I'm, I think that he's going to be, he would be good for us. We'd have to trade him for, like, 
this trade don't even make sense. I don't know. I mean, this is the closest to like me seeing a trade that is cool. Jaron will not score as much as Pascal. He won't. Last year, he averaged 17 and 5. You know, and on this team, he'd average probably less than that. He's a good player. Then we get a backup in Fred Van Vliet. As a, Freddy as a six-man would be amazing. Trade number 20 might be the trade we do. I mean, Victor Oladipo goes back to the team, but we'd have to throw in Gary Trent, so that's not a good deal. Ah, uh, this is... DeAndre Aiden in a trade fight is actually interesting, but uh, it has to be a two-for-one deal. It has to be a two-for-one deal. What if we... Okay. What if we did this trade, right? And then, tr do you think Blake is going to have any flippable value? Do we think... No, the other trade's significantly better. What am I, why am I trying to talk myself into that trade? We're going to do the Jaron Jackson, Fred Van Vliet trade. So, we have one trade left for the video. Um, I'm going to make... Bam back to a center, slash power forward. You know, we do want him to run some four minutes. Right? So that's cool. We have Freddie, Keldon Johnson. And if I can get like a power forward or center that we like, I'll run an eight-man rotation and win a championship, bro. I will legitimately run an eight-man rotation and let that be it. So let's try to do that. Let's try. I don't know how we're going to do it because we don't have any picks left. Is there going to be a power forward slash center in the tray finder based on what's here now? No, there won't be. Um, but also, something I didn't do about some of these players that we just got on the roster is make them their best position. So let me try to do that real quick and see if that increases trade value. Um, the biggest the biggest upgrade we saw was Marvin Williams went up like one overall spot. <laughs> Dorf and e. Smith can't run backup center for us. Dwayne, De there's no way I'm relying on Dwayne Deadman minutes in the finals. Bro, like, uh, yo, I would do this trade, but this is the last trade we have of the of this season. So what if I threw in Ryan Archidiakono instead? Probably not. What I'm thinking is I'm going to have to go out there and find it myself, which is cool. Um, I'm just going to go to every team center and be like, hey, do you have somebody on a minimum contract that we can snag for close? Actually, let's just do it this way. Somebody that's on like a, like Nicholas Claxton, Harry Giles. These are guys on like rookie deals that we could potentially snag. Enos Cancer? No, I don't want Enos Cancer, honestly. Yo, free agency has Willie Cauley Stein. Free agency has Willie Cauley Stein. That that might just be it. That might just be it. We run an eight man, and Willie Cauley Stein is the guy. I will substitute that as my sixth trade. I mean, it's it, it's gonna be a rough season. But we have a backup point guard slash shooting guard. We have a backup small forward slash shooting guard. We have a backup center that I'm going to actually make his backup position be power forward. Um, even though he probably shouldn't be playing any power forward at all. This is 2K. This is 2K. And they don't really care. So why should I? You know? Eight-man rotation. Steph Curry. Jason Tatum. And Bam as the options to score. Let's see. First week of the season. Lost wins. We lose the season opener, but after that, a nice little win streak here. Oh, my God. Wardell. Hey, last time he won MVP. I don't think they I don't think they won a championship that year, so maybe this is not a good sign. He won MVP in 2016, but he did not win a championship in 2016 because LeBron came back from 3-1. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, maybe not the best that he won MVP, but we'll take it. Ricky Rubio, six man. Giannis, defense player of the year. DeAndre Aiden, most improved. We should have traded for him. You see the numbers he just put up? Sheesh. We saw him in the trade finder. We did see him in the trade finder. But it is what it is. We won 69 games, which, if you ask me, is nice. Um, overall, this year is better than last year. Like, you remember, we had a 99 offense and a 93 defense. Our defense is significantly better. Did we put together? I mean, first of all, having Steph Curry put up those type of numbers definitely helped us. He was not 50, 40, 90 this season, unfortunately. But he was close to it. He was close to it. Uh, second team, nobody from us. Third team. Oh, this defensive team. What am I doing? Jason Tatum, third team. Yes, sir. Fifth. Oh, 25, 7, and 2? All right, we're ready. We're ready. Vucevic made an NBA team, and we traded him away. So keep that in mind as well. Here are the statistics. Bam averages a double-double with three assists as well. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. averages 16 and 6, so that's actually not too bad. I thought he's gonna, I thought he's gonna do worse than that, so that's not too bad. Freddie off the bench averages 14. Keldon Johnson averages 10. 
Gary Trent averages nine, which again, we need him to do much. And then Willie Cauley Stein averages about four and a half and, and five. Cool. All right, let's do it. There, uh, I was gonna say, there's no way two years in a row we wanted to Giannis in the first round, but he signed somewhere else. Apparently he went to, he went to the Dallas Mavericks. So look out for the Mavericks. They're down here. So we wouldn't have to potentially go against them to the conference finals. This trailblazer team, they're good. But last year, remember, they had Giannis and they take game one. I'm not in the mood, 2K. I am not in the mood for this. This is the best team we're going to have. Do not do this. <laughs> okay, it's 2-1, 3-1. All right, with no Giannis, no Giannis, no problem for us. Okay, Denver has Luka. Nice. Year number one, we run into Giannis in the first year. Year number two, we run into Luka in the, in the second. <sighs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. 1-1. One, one. I don't even want to look at box scores. 2-1. 3-1, and we won't have to go against Giannis. Giannis' team got eliminated. Giannis' team got eliminated by the, the lower seed, so we got a 1-2 matchup. They have a rookie, Alex, but it's a, it's a little sign over the A and Alex. So, how do I pronounce Alex? Alex? I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, I'm Mitchell, Michael Porter Jr., Christian Wood, and Daniel Tice. That's a good team. Oh, snap. They start in Freddy as, as shooting guard. Not bad. I actually, I think that's pretty smart. All right. There, okay. All right. Game two. I mean, uh, game one. What, what am I doing? I'm already jumping the gun. Seth Curry had a triple double, by the way. You know what I'm saying? 18 assists. He's keep having these really, really big assist games in the playoffs. Jason Tatum put up 40. It's beautiful. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Game two is a win. Uh-huh. Get to this championship. We're going against the Bucks. Oh, I'm already jumping the gun. Let's close the series out. We're going against the Bucks. Who have defense? Oh, they got a lot of defense. DeJounte Murray, Norman Powell, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Chris Stapps Porzingis. Good defensive team. You know, they were the two seed. Six game series, six game series, then a sweep in the conference finals. Game one is a win for us. They come back in game two. Please close this out. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. This is not what we came here for. This is not what we came here for. What do I have to do? What do I have to do? Seven man rotation? Seven? No center. We're just running no backup center. All right, that, that's how we run. Because I guess Jaren can play backup center. I, I I don't understand. Steph, you've been on the receiving end on the 3-1. On the how about how about we, we be the initiators? Let's, let's come back on the series. This is a win. We're already up by 20. Already up by 20. That's a good, that's a statement game. Hey, we ain't out of this. That's a statement game from Steph Curry. And yes, this is a statement game. Come on, two more, two more. Two game win streak. We've been on plenty of those this season. That's another 20. Come on, y'all. One game away. We're one game away from being champions. One game away from being champions. One game away. Don't fail me. You didn't give me this hope for no reason. Okay, it's a close one so far. There's a 10 point lead. They choked it. They choked it. My boy, Wardale, Stephen Curry, about to win his first finals MVP of all. His first finals MVP. Give it to, they're probably going to give it to Jason Tatum. Steph Curry! You know why I was really dreading going into the next season? Because Steph Curry's a free agent. Jaron Jackson Jr. will be a free agent. Gary Trent would have been a free agent. Uh, Keldon Johnson and Willie Cauley Stein. And then, the, oh, I'm sorry, and everybody else on the team. We would have legitimately only had three people on the roster. So I'm happy we were able to get out of that. 69 wins got to the championship and almost didn't win crazy so Stephen curry becomes a guy that comes back from a 3-1 lead in the championship it's beautiful if you enjoyed the video as always be sure to leave it a like this has been kenny i'll be back tomorrow peace